made at 63 kilos. The officials have been appointed by the Amateur Boxing Association, the official in charge, Alan Lynch. And so, live from Bolton, this is the main event of the evening! <laughs> Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner. At the weighing yesterday, he scaled 62 kilos. He comes to the ring this evening as the three-time world champion and two-time Olympic gold medalist presenting and boxing out of the blue corner, representing Havana, Cuba, Super Mario Kinderland. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner to my right, at the weigh-in yesterday, he scaled 62.5 kilos. He comes to the ring as the current world junior champion, the 2004 Athens Olympic silver medalist representing the ABC and Bolton Amir Khan. Time to give the bell, William Cross, the referee, is George Bagnoli from Manchester, who will now give his final instructions to both bosses. There's no point pretending to you that these two dislike each other intensely. A lot of respect there, I just want to underline, Amir Khan will do exceptionally well to win this one tonight. Four two-minute rounds. Amir Khan, a quick prayer in his hand, the door in the corner, and he's away. Olympic Games, it was a slow start. It was an even, pretty much, first round. Amir Khan has got to get his foot down on the gas and get scoring against this cute counter-puncher, Kinderland. And he's got through early on with a right hand. Looking at Kinderland above me before the start, an air of a man who's been through all this before. Let's get the first impressions from Ricky Hatton. Good opening few seconds, Jim. Uh, he's looked started very positive and very, very sharp and um, he's just got to concentrate all the way through this contest he knows he can't switch off for one minute but he started very very well he has started well and uh, just to remind you all those judges have to see a, a punch correctly landed with a white part of the glove to register one and they have not seen one yet you can just see the respect that the two have for each other in there straight away do you know i think they're just weighing each other up in the opening seconds and i think it'll just heat up in any minute Amir Khan looking a lot stronger than he was in the Olympics. They say he went there a boy. He's come back a man. To warn you, Kinderland has a habit. He'll have a look in the first round. He'll put the foot down for the second and third. And then he'll get on his bike in the last. And Khan registers the first point with 40 seconds to go in the first. Beautiful start, really. Nice little right hand to pick up that first point for, uh, for Khan just got to keep his focus you know Kinderland can move through the gears at any moment so he's got to be very very sharp all the way through that was typical Kinderland made Khan look silly showed the judges his gloves said this is the one I'm going to hit him with hit him and he's back on level terms and Khan getting in close with a good flurry towards the end of this round and that looks though it could be good enough for Amir Khan to take the advantage as we tick towards the end of the first great start from Amir Khan Khan leads the legend that is Mario Kinderland 2-1 as they come out for the second round. A warning, this is where Kinderland effectively won the fight in the Olympics. He was absolutely brilliant in this round. They touch gloves. I think that's the key, Jim. It's a fantastic start for Amir, but uh, we all know Kinderland can put his foot on the gas at any given moment. So Amir's just got to keep focus and keep doing what he's doing. But he's in good shape so far. Just not letting Kinderland go to work, and Kinderland looked to be holding on there. 
he's hunting him, he's stepping up the pace, he's making those old 33-year-old legs feel that he scored with a good right hand as Khan, he is leading by four points to two in the second round, a little warning from the experienced Geordie referee George Brugnoli to Kindle and don't hold on. That's what he's got to do Jim though, he's got to really get amongst Kindle in and really rough him up a bit. He's going fine now, but he's got to keep his boxing wits about him because this man, Kinderland, knows every manoeuvre in the book. Good right hand, Amir Khan, right on the money. 5-2, Amir Khan, it ticks up. That was a good shot, acknowledged indeed by Kinderland. And Khan fighting for the first time in his hometown, giving it absolutely everything here, Ricky. Some of the, the atmosphere in here, I know this is an amateur fight, but this is an atmosphere to go alongside any professional title bout. It's absolutely electric and... Uh, Amir's boxing beautiful, landing that right cross every time. He, he's being clever there, I think, as well, Khan. He's 6-2 up, he must know that, and he doesn't want to get dropping any points now. Inside of the glove, that one from Kindle, and I don't think that'll count. Again, he's there, and he's gone, and he's got a point. And three points is the difference now. Huge support for Amir Khan here. He's going well so far, Ricky. He's doing absolutely fantastic. Took a left cross there, though, but uh, he's got his nose in front of Amir, so he just wants to settle down a little bit now and just think about what he's doing again. Just two points in it as we come down towards the end of the second round. It's still anybody's fight, but Khan has the advantage. It's effectively half time here. There is a two point advantage for Amir Khan. Kinderland standing between that round, keen to get on with it, keen to pull those points back. And away they go again, and Kinderland with a bit of ground to make up. But he's still very much in this fight. We can never write off this Cuban. Not at all, as I keep saying, he can go through the gears at any stage, but. Uh, the last time these two gentlemen met, uh, Kindlin had a fantastic second round and he had the complete opposite there, great round for Khan. Just missed that right, right above us, that was Ricky, none of the judges fancied it at all, so it remains, it remains at 7-5 and it remains exceedingly close. Whatever happens, whatever the result, Khan has done a massive improvement here tonight compared to the last two fights against Kindle and I've seen them both and for my money he was well beaten both times but it's showing the maturity and it's showing the astonishing promise of Amir Khan that could well blossom into an exceptional professional career fairly showing more composure here than he's done in his previous two outings against Kindle he's like a seasoned professional in there now he's not wasting anything and that's what you can't afford to do with Kindle good right hand again over the top Absolutely, but uh, not good enough it would appear for the judges to score it. You've got to land it absolutely on the button, you've got to be totally accurate. Khan ducks out of sight, makes Kindleland miss there. And all those hours spent watching that video of Amir Khan, he has studied every move. But this man, Kindleland, seems to be paying off Another here. Good shot, I think that should score, Jimmy. It has, it has. Three points the advantage now. A big exchange Beautiful right tonight. above us. And that three-point advantage stays. This is tremendous stuff from Amir Khan. He is in there with an absolute legend. And he is beating him at the moment as we tick down towards the end of the third. And giving it absolutely everything. A terrific fight, Ricky. Wonderful boxing. His hand speed is causing Kimball and all the problems. Bedlam round the ringside. Four points the Fantastic. difference. He has a four point advantage as we tick into that last round. Let's eavesdrop, see what's being said in the corner by the experienced Mick Jelly. Okay, I think I heard him say, uh, no mercy. You tell us, Ricky Hatton, you know this game. You're in that corner. What would you say to him? Well, he's got his kindling nose is behind by two points, so I think he should do. So uh, he's going to jump all over Amir in this last round now. So Amir's got to keep nice and tight and keep that sharpness going. The corner looking very concerned, the Cubans. They hate losing anyway. Anywhere, any place. And here at the Reebok, Kindalan is staring a rare defeat in the face. I think he's going to come out of the traps here this round, Jim. This 
is the last two minutes of Mario Kinderland's career. For Amir Khan, greatness beckons here. If he can put this man down as one of his victims, he has a four-point advantage, Amir Khan. And he's got to be cute, he's got to be clever. He's got to put the crowd out of his head and he's just got to finish it off and complete the job, Ricky. Yeah, he's uh, boxing beautiful here. He's got his nose in front, five-point difference now. And he's just got to keep his composure. Let Kindling do the chasing now. He's got it all to do, not that Amir Khan. So just keep your composure now, Amir. 15-10, Khan leading Kindling. Beaten by him twice, outclassed by him twice. But now a massive advantage for the most exciting young fighter that we have had in Britain for absolutely ages. 18 years of age, I think it's absolutely phenomenal the performance he's put on tonight. Kinderlin was in fantastic form when he was in Liverpool a few weeks back against England. But Amir Khan looks different class tonight. We're ticking into the last minute. Six points is the advantage. Amir, Ooh, oh, he caught him with shot. a great beautiful. shot there. A great shot. And Kinderland very, very unusual. He looks worried. He blows, he retreats, and the advantage moves up to seven. Surely Amir Khan has got this now. 40 seconds to go, Ricky. It's in the bag. Well, he's got a nice gap here now. He's just uh, landed another punch there. Kindleman's trying to put the pressure on, but he's got to take some crawling back now. This deficit, six points. I think if Amir keeps out of the way, he's got a, uh, a memorable victory. It's here for him. His first fight in his hometown. He has worked and trained and studied ever since the Olympics. And here is seconds. his reward. We're ticking down. Amir Khan. And he lands again. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to beat Super Mario Kindleland. And he is Fantastic finishing with a flourish. Fantastic performance. What an effort. 18 year old Amir Khan dethrones a legend. And they are on their feet, Ricky. Absolutely incredible. I think a star is born. If we didn't know that before, and I think we certainly know it now. If they could make a gold medal after this, they would hang it round Amir Khan. Vindication for the young man. Unbelievable. What a shot, mate. Eh? Unbelievable. That right hand worked beautiful all night for him. I mean, Kinderland, Mr. Elusive, you don't hit him like that. No, you don't hit him that often, you don't make him miss that often like Amir did. It was a fantastic performance and uh, the future's uh, very, very bright for Amir Khan. Don't you worry about that. A big smile for Amir. He had his serious fight face on beforehand. You all know the verdict. Back at home, we're going to get the official announcement in just a moment. Official confirmation. This has been fought in excellent spirit, I have to say, Khan and the, the, the uh, Cuban corner taking that defeat with great dignity. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, before we render the decision, tremendous round of applause for both two of the world's finest amateur bosses. The score, 19 points to 13 points for the red corner! He was a big underdog. He, he has delivered. Super Mario he said he'd do it. There might even be a tear in the eye of Amir Khan. You can't blame him either. He said he has done it, he would do it, he has delivered. And a thousand people here at the Reebok have helped him along the way. Great dignity, we're seeing the farewell appearance of a great champion, Mario Kinderlan as well. And uh, that mutual respect between the two, uh, Ricky, I know you've got a big fight coming up against Costa Zoo and all that, but I mean, that's terrific to see, and all the way through on that podium in the Olympics, at the way in here in the ring, that mutual respect has remained. It's absolutely fantastic. He's an absolute class act, Kindle, inside and outside the ring, and he proved that again tonight. This place is still jumping when we return. We'll be hearing from Amir Khan himself, and what about his future? We'll discuss that with promoter Frank Warren and more 